Hi everyone, Ricky here from Tech Talk. Today I want to go through some gaming on the Sony Xperia X. Thanks to Vodafone for sending me out this great device. So I decided to do some gaming on here as loads of people on the channel have asked for some gaming videos on some of the phones that I have to review. So the Sony Xperia X is very good. It's a very powerful device running a six core processor and of course three gigabytes of RAM. So it shouldn't have any issues playing games. So some of the games I've got on here, I need to actually buy some of the bigger titles. So first of all, if I just show you some of the games I'm gonna run, first is Pokemon Go, then Subway Surfer, Sliver IO, and then Diving Game. I know it's not the best of games. I know I need to get GTA, um, Counter Strike as well is kind of a good game. I will get some of them for our next device to review. So first of all, I'm gonna load Pokemon Go. So Pokemon Go is a fantastic game. If you're a fan of Pokemon when you're younger or older now, like I'm coming up to 30. So like I said, I'm coming up to nearly 30 and I started playing this game. So Pokemon Go is all about catching all the Pokemon that are out there. And just by a magic, luckily there is a Pokemon here for us and it is got AR, so this will drain your battery very much. So as we can see, we've got a little cat pee here. Just gonna turn the sound down a little bit. So there's a little cat pee right at my desk, and then you've got to, you can either spin the ball, or missed. Hopefully we'll catch it. So we go caught cat P and I'm just gonna just jump into the menu and we're gonna transfer it straight away. Just transfer that and we'll get another candy. Okay, and then in here it'll show me what's around. So we've got Ooh, there's a grimmer around. Okay, so there's a grimer or a muck around, so we can see if that pops up maybe. But as you can see I've got loads of fields around my house. So that's not too good. Let me show you my team as well. I haven't been doing fantastic. I haven't been playing this now for a long time. So in here, it will show you the list of Pokemon, what you've caught and what you've seen. There's only one that I haven't caught that I've seen. Go back into here and then show you my Pokemon. There we go. As ranging by CP, you can see Lapras is my best one. Then we've got Vaporeon. We've got Pidgeot. Couple of electro buzzes there. I'm waiting for trading to come in. A gold duck, couple of jinxes as well. Ready for training. But that seems to run nice and smooth on this phone. I haven't had an issue. As you can see near me, there's a couple of gyms. If I tap on a gym here, we can see who's actually in control of the gym. So they've got a rat cake and a Gyarados as well, and a Dragonite, and a Snorlax, and another Snorlax. Wow, so that's a real powerful gym. So that's not going to be taken very easily there. That was Pokemon Go. So going back home. Next app I want to show you is Subway Surfer. And this time they're in Iceland. So they keep changing the countries they go to. Last couple of weeks they've been in Rio for the Olympics. Remember today to go and support the Power Olympic superstars as well. It's not just about the Olympic stars, but the Power Olympics as well start today. I think they're opening ceremonies today and then the games actually start tomorrow. So with this, it's a bit like Temple Run, collecting the coins, jumping over, rolling under, going left to right. And also there's gonna be letters collect and also penguins, I think for Iceland, they want you to collect this time. So you can go up and on the train. So we've got a letter there. Double tapping will give you a hoverboard. So with a hoverboard, you can actually knock into stuff so if I do that there, it actually destroys everything, but you don't actually die, so you can keep on going. But we're gonna die there because we got hit by a train. Of course, this is more fun when you connect to Facebook as you'll get loads of unlocks here, and then you get to go against your friends, so you can compete against your friends. Again, this game is very quick and nice and runs very smoothly on this phone here. I think that's all thanks to its power and performance, like I said to you. So there's no actual home button, you actually swipe up and then you can tap home to go back home. Next is Sliver IO, which is Snake for new devices. So if you don't know what Snake is, Snake was a 
great game on the 3310, which was about 13 years ago now. It actually came out. So you can either play online or by yourself. So we're going online here. So you can press boost here if you have enough to boost. And the aim of the game is to try and let other snakes come into your path and collect all these colored gems here, which will make your snake lovely and big. So pressing this button here will give you a bit of a boost, but you will lose your size. So the aim of this game is to actually try and find some of the biggest snakes and maybe just wait around, just hover around until they sort of mess up. And then you can get really big, really quick without any sort of problems. You have to be quite enough good to stay out their way, maybe as such. I've got a feeling this blue snake's gonna be after me in a second, so we'll go down here. But as you see there, I went into another snake, so I lost out. So there is adverts on this game. So these are all free from the Google Play Store at the moment, but go and check them out. Finally, the other one is a diving game. I actually kind of like this. Flip down, it's called. Or flip, flip diving, this game is called. Again, free from the Google Play Store. By doing this, you unlock different modes, different people, and different dives and different arenas as well. So the aim of the game is to simply dive. It's not as easy as it looks. So I've got this on iPhone, so I know a bit how I'm playing it. But you can dramatically fail if like, I'll just show you how to fail in a minute. If it let me. It's actually hard to fail on camera. I thought it'd be easier. I think this is the best I've done actually now because I'm filming it. There we go, I went out of bounds. Or you can do a belly flop, or you can do a back flop as well. So if I just show you here. There you go, fail straight away. But we've got a crate. So again, it's all about collecting coins and you have to collect different things to carry on and make yourself better and get better dives. So any other games you'd like to see, please let me know. Like I said, I'm gonna do the bigger games once I've bought some, maybe on the next device. I'm hoping to take a look at the new iPhone and of course, uh, the new Samsung Note 7 when it's been updated and re-released due to them explosion issues. But let me know what you think of the video down below. It'd be much appreciated. Please give a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Remember to subscribe for all our latest videos. Bye for now.